Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an image out of text using GIMP. So let's go ahead and load the software. If you don't have GIMP installed, I will put a link in the YouTube description explaining how you can install this software on your computer. And we'll open up this folder and inside this folder I've got this picture. And I'll also put a link to this picture so you can download and follow this tutorial. So we'll drag and drop this picture into GIMP software and the first thing we want to do is crop this image so we'll use the crop tool here we'll click on that and then we'll left mouse click and drag over this picture and select what we want to keep so the inside of this box is what we'll keep and everything outside will get removed we just want to make sure that we've got a gap down this side a gap on this side and we've got the top and roughly around sort of around here we want to crop here yeah? just below the neckline around here. That's what we want to keep. When you know you've got this selection set correctly, just click anywhere in the middle of the image and that will crop the image. Now, what we want to do is go to the brush tool here, the paintbrush tool, and we need to make sure white is selected at the top. If it's showing black, then click this arrow option here and that will switch it to white and then the size is probably about right, I'm saying it around just around 200 and we just want to paint white in the background. This doesn't need to be super accurate but just don't go over the face or the hair, just a rough sort of clean up of the background will do, like especially here. And if you want to zoom in, what you can do is use the middle mouse button to move the canvas, so we move the canvas down a little bit and then we can hold down the control key and use our mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So this just makes life a little bit easier here when we're doing this part here. This doesn't need to be super clean, it just needs to be half decent, yeah? So we just do a rough clean up around the edges here. This is pretty good, this should be fine. Maybe a little bit at the top here. Something like this. Get rid of anything in the background around the edges. Let's just go one final time right around the edge. That should be okay so let us now um, make a copy of this layer so we're going to right click on this picture in the layers here and click duplicate layer now we've got two copies and just make sure you click on the top one and we'll go to color and we'll go to curves here and we want to make like an s shape like this sort of shape here so what we'll do is we'll drag here left click and drag up to around here and from the bottom one we'll drag in the middle and we'll drag it down like this so we end up with this sort of s shape if you do this wrong you can click cancel and then just do that again and to get it right you want it roughly like this you can see the picture is quite saturated now and we'll click ok now normally when i'm using the tools um normally i just select the default tool i'll use is this move tool so if i'm not using any of the tools I normally just click on the move tool and that will be my like, default tool that I'm holding on to while I'm working. Now, I have to do that, but that's normally what I will revert back to. So if you was using any of these other tools, once you're done with them, click on the move tool. That's what I normally click. It's up to you. Now, the next thing we want to do is add a new layer. And we want to add the layer in between these two layers. So we'll click the bottom one and we'll click add a new layer and we want to make sure that this layer has a white background so we want to make sure the fill is white and click OK now we've got this new layer here right and with this layer we want to in fact what we do is we'll drag it above one let's make it the top layer for now and we want to go to this text tool and we want to drag and fill the whole screen with the text tool like this. Now let's just quickly go to Google and in Google we're going to type in Laura Lipson and we'll click on this website here and we just want some dummy text so we're going to copy this text or you can cut and paste any text you like. I'm going to copy this text here. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to press Control V to paste the text and when you paste it you're not really going to see anything so I'm going to press Control A and that will select all of the text, Control A, 
and then I'll click on this little tool here, the color tool, and I'll select this black swatch at the bottom here, this black one, and click OK. Now you can see the text, and we want to re reduce the size. We want to set it to around, oops, we want to set it to around, uh, around 20, yeah? And then we want to press Control C to copy. So we want to copy the selected text and move to the end of the line. So let's zoom in a bit here. So I'm moving to the end of the line and press Control. Okay, let's select this text, press Control C to copy, move to the end of the line and press Control V. And then keep compressing Control V until you fill the whole, all of this page uh, with dummy text. So we'll click the Move tool again. We'll move back to our Move tool. And then we're going to right click on this text layer and we're going to say Merge Down. So now it's just one flat layer. And we want to drag this layer to the middle again. So it's sitting in between these two images. We'll click on the top image and we'll go to Mode. So let me just do that again. So we select this top image and here we've got Mode and it says Normal. And we want to select in here, we want to select Screen. Now you can see like the text is showing through on top of the image. So let's click on the middle layer and we will create a new layer and it will be a white layer again and click OK. So we've got this blank canvas again and this time we're going to go to gradient tool here and in the gradient tool you can pick any of these gradients you like so we'll find something maybe like trop let's let's try that tropical where did it go down the T uh, tropical so something with quite a lot of bright colors in there so we'll click that one and then we'll drag with the left mouse button we'll drag all the way down to this side here like this and we want to click on this layer and set it to screen as well now we can see the colors you see the text is now filled with those colors we can click on our move tool now we can start to see the image here now the next thing we want to do is drag this bottom image to the very top and it will sit at the very top now you can just see the clear image as it is and we want to use the opacity tool here right here and we want to reduce the opacity so drag with your mouse to the left or you can use the arrows here and we want to have that image show through but not so much but we want to have it show through so I'm setting it to around let's say 30% so you can still see some of the picture but you can still see some of the text and you can recognize the eyes and the mouth and the outline and there we've almost got our image finished now you can go and experiment so that what you should really do is file save as and I'm just going to call it image-01.sfcx and I'm going to save it to that same folder on my desktop and we'll click save so we've got a copy of this now so when we go to this folder we can see this image here this is this image that we're working on right now and now we can go and play around and experiment with this so we can do other things we can click on this layer here the color layer and we can go back to this gradient tool and we can click here and we can pick a different gradient so maybe you know you can pick anything you want let's try full saturation this one here we can drag that one then we'll get a different set of colors this maybe looks a bit better because i don't know it's up to you you can choose what you what you think looks better you can manipulate this so you can drag from the corners to change how that looks so you can stretch it out and get the full color if you bring it in a bit you're going to get some of this red in the top here so it's up to you you can play around with that i think that looks pretty good um click back on the move tool we can see the image quite clearly now and we can click back on this top layer and we can reduce the opacity we can get rid of it totally or we can have it showing for a little bit and let's try one more different set of colors so we'll click on this color tool and we'll go back to the color selection here so we're clicking on gradient and let's try some darker colors like incandescent this has got quite a lot of dark colors and light colors in it so we we'll drag from here up to here and we'll click 
the move tool and we can see this version I think this version works a bit better because it's got light and dark colors in there you can see the face and the silhouette a bit better then we can click on the top layer and we can play around with uh, the saturate or the opacity here so you can experiment with this play around see what works there's no harm uh, when you get something you like it's worth maybe saving it as a different version so you can go file save as and call it version 2 and then when you like that version you can go and make a different version you can go and experiment with all the different tools in here you can play around with them and see what works you can actually unhide the text layer and you can see like a colored version of this picture and if you unhide um, the color then you can see the original right and then you can unhide just the color and just see the text version or you can have it with the color and the text you can experiment you can even have the image like this if you want and forget about the text totally up to you you can play around with it you can do things like uh, let's go back here gradient and maybe we'll click full saturation drag that and you can have like a, just a color picture like this if that's what you want that's what you can have you can turn the text back on and then you'll have a colored version with the text and experiment with the opacity on the top image you can even experiment it yeah with this uh you don't really want to mess around with this middle layer that's the one that's showing the text that's kind of like a, a mask with text this is really the top one you want to play around with the opacity and see what works for you so i'm going to leave it something like this and on this <coughs> colored layer I'm going to go back to the opacity tool and I want to select incandescent and drag this and that's the one that I like the most okay so the last thing we'll do is go to file save and we'll go to file export and we'll go to show all and we'll select from the selection type we'll select JPEG and we'll click export and we'll set it to 90 and we'll click export and then we can close that and GIMP and we should have this image here to finish the example you can go around and play around with that you can use a completely different picture you can use a picture of an animal if you want maybe a dog, cat an elephant experiment it can be a picture of yourself it can be anything it can even be buildings right it doesn't have to be a face so you can go around and play around with this and see what type of uh, artwork you can create and this text in the background could have been it could be anything it doesn't have to be this Laura Lipsum it could be in a the about us page on your on your website for example you can copy that text and put it in there it could be a poem it could be a famous saying it could be like a, you know for some famous people it could be a saying in there and then you could upload this to your instagram and maybe you'll get some likes on it and you know you can play around with this and tidy up the edges and experiment but here's the basis of creating that particular image so that's the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial